I'm trying to figure out how it cannot be so complicated. Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sequisha. This is our freedom song and I am so happy that you are here. This is such a fun video because I am going to be starting seeds. It is time for us to start seeds. I am in South Carolina in zone 8B and we have about almost 10 weeks until our last frost and so we need to get started with things like peppers and then in a couple weeks probably about three weeks it'll be time to start things like tomatoes so i have been working in this greenhouse diligently <laughs> each evening i come out here and i try to chip away at a little bit more evenings in the greenhouse has been like so incredible though like i have really enjoyed just being able to come out here um it's so peaceful and it's quiet and so it's just it's been a really really awesome treat for um for for me it's been a really really nice and wonderful thing to be able to really enjoy this space um, because it's not hot in here and then i can get so much so, so many things done so today i am going to be starting seeds and i'm going to show you how i'm starting seeds three different ways i love experimenting and i'm very much so still learning all the things yes we do have a very large garden and it didn't start because i knew everything there was to know i pretty much knew zero <laughs> i knew zero we really wanted to have a garden and start to learn how to grow food for our family. So that's what we began to do. And so we are learning as we are going. And this year, I would really love to start at least 90% of what we grow in our garden from seed. But there is a learning curve and there's a process to know. And so today I'm going to be starting seeds using soil blocking as well as some seed starting trays. And I'm really excited about this whole thing because I have Happy Mail behind me and I'm going to be using these things. But I also came out and I did some winter sowing. So that is the third method that I am trying with starting seeds. First, let me show you what I have behind me in these boxes that's going to help me with soil blocking. So this is my first time soil blocking. There is so much information on the internet about soil blocking. Like it really feels overwhelming. Like there's so many different recipes and there's just, you know, all of this information and you know, when you are starting something new, that can just feel so overwhelming. Um, so I'm going to be doing a mix today. I'm going to try to do it in the most basic way that I can, honestly. If I could find the most basic way to do something that still works really well, I wanna do that. If I don't have to buy 15 things to go into a mix, I wanna do that. And so I am starting with a good potting mix first then i'm going to be adding some worm castings as well as some vermiculite and that is the basic mix that i'm going to go with with my soil blocks if there is anyone out there who also does soil blocking i would love to know what you do and how you simplify because i do believe that you know things can get more intense as we're going but when we're first starting to learn how to do something that can really deter people from wanting to do it when it's just, it's so complicated, <laughs> you know what I mean? And so I'm trying to figure out how it cannot be so complicated. And so we're gonna, we're gonna experiment with some of that today. So I'm so happy that you're joining me for this video. Let's get to this happy mail, y'all. So here is our happy mail. And for everybody who loves all the things that's made in the USA, listen, Epic Gardening has what you need. Let me show you these seed starting containers. Look at how cute these are. Oh my goodness. The American Tray Company. Oh, so cute. 
I absolutely love these trays. These trays are just so incredible. I love that they have the hole at the bottom to be able to easily get the seedling out. So cool. I've saw I've seen lots of videos that talk about how sturdy these are and these are legit so sturdy like that's just a greenhouse door slamming i just feel like these are definitely going to last this would be my first season using products from epic gardening but i am so excited about it so these trays actually um, have air pruning side slots which is cool and it's on all four of the corners so that is supposed to discourage root circling so that the roots won't be root bound and so i felt like that was really cool like that was a really really great feature of these seed starting trays have healthy seedlings so that our plants start off really really great the best way that they can start off and so i'm really excited about these for sure are also going to open up this right here can you already guess what's inside who guessed it yes we have our trays and these epic trays are made by american tray company come through epic come through so these are the trays and i got these trays because this is what i want to use to put my soil blocks on look i can hold that with one hand and it's good so i'm really really excited about these trays yes that is the plan y'all soil block epic gardening trays come on let's get excited about this so i have a good bit of trays of course i opened the box up upside down <laughs> look what else i have they always put a happy growing botanical interest because i got some cool seeds y'all I got some cool seeds. So let me show you the seeds that I have. So these are so cool looking. They're supposed to be like a really, really, really dark brown, blackish color. And they're supposed to be like shrivelly, like a raisin. I'm like, well, that's interesting and cool. These cream sausage tomatoes. When I was reading the description of this tomato, my mouth started watering and I was like, I need to grow those. <laughs> and then we have some bumblebee blend tomatoes and these golden jubilees. And then I really want to grow these mother of pearl poppy because they are so beautiful. Even on the package, they're so beautiful. So I can just imagine what they are going to look like when they're actually growing in the garden. I have, like I said, a few weeks until it's time to start tomatoes. And so I won't be starting these today, but stay tuned because we'll be starting these very soon. Today, I am going to be starting some more peppers and flowers so let's get to it that it says your garden is gonna be epic yes okay so here is the potting mix that i have i've tried to go through this and just pick out big chunky wood pieces anything that's going to prevent our soil blocks from <laughs> blocking <laughs> And so I've went through and tried to remove as much as I could of anything that would prevent it from being the best block it could be. Okay, and I'm an 
I eye things and so I'm gonna eye this and what I've done is I've filled it in my bucket here and about until that line and then what I'm gonna do is add equal parts I'm just gonna use this container right here and I'm going to add some vermiculite as well as some worm castings So I'm going to give this all a really, really good mix. And see how I feel about it. Nice and fluffy. Okay, so I'm going to dampen the soil a bit before I put them inside of our seed starting trays and i'm going to fill these first because i know that for my soil blocks i'm going to need it to be so much more wet than i need it to be for potting up um, inside of these pots and so i'm just going to prepare it for the pots first So I have this potting mix nice and damp. So I'm going to add it to our seed starting trays now. Okay, I have so many different things that I want to plant <laughs> and I want to try it all of them with different methods to see what works best. And so I'm really excited about these sweet peas right here. I've never grown them. They look so beautiful. I'm hoping that they will grow um, so that we can see. And I think these vine, ooh, yeah, they're just gonna be so beautiful. These will be planted at an inch. This is what I want to show you this little tool right here that makes it easy if you need to plant a fourth of an inch just to go right here go to that line that's one way to do it go just like that but there's so many different ways to make your little divot Okay, so I just nicked the bottom of the sweet pea seeds, and so hopefully that does it. These are the other three that I'm going to plant right now. Aren't these beautiful? And then those peppers and the poppy corn. Pasala means little raisin in Spanish. So cool, referring to the dark brown wrinkled dried form of the chilaca pepper. <laughs> I probably said that wrong. Yeah, that's all right. Can't take yourself too serious. These I'm gonna actually have to plant directly because it says it doesn't transplant well. Still put them on here just to see what happens, but I will be sure to directly sow those as well. And you're just supposed to press them into the damp surface of the soil. That's done. I'm gonna cover these with vermiculite. So now that that's done, let's go ahead and get this soil ready 
for soil blocking. I heard that it should be like the consistency of oatmeal, but I feel like that's so relative because people like their oatmeal in different consistencies. <laughs> Some people like their oatmeal very thin and some people like thick oatmeal. But one thing that I've heard that has been consistent is that the soil needs to be very wet. And when I squeeze it, the water should run through my fingers. So we are going for a very wet consistency. Okay, so here's the consistency that I'm landing on. I don't know if this is too wet, but from what I can gather, it's better to be too wet than too dry because I don't want it to crumble up. <laughs> How can one know? We must experiment with this. Okay. So. <laughs> Let's rub it all in there. Let's kind of squeeze it. <laughs> Let's squeeze it some. Okay. I've seen people use scrapers, like the painting scrapers, and so that's an option. Okay, I'm gonna go with it. So this is what it looks like. And now we're gonna press it out and see what happens. Let's get our tray. All right, <laughs> this is the moment of, moment of truth. Here we go. Here we go, y'all. I'm nervous. <laughs> I am nervous. All right, let's see what happens. I'm gonna take it to the tray. <gasps> it worked. <laughs> it worked. Oh my goodness, it worked. Look it. Look at it. It worked. I have a soil block. Now all we need for it to do is stay together. <laughs> if it stays together, that would be great. Because that's what we need. So let's do that again. Soup it up in there. Yes. <laughs> yes. I did it. <laughs> okay, so in these soil blocks, I'm going to be planting some snapdragons because I saw this really thing where someone 
planted something like snapdragons that need cold stratification and they planted them in their soil block and then they froze the soil block which I thought was so cool so they froze them and just stored them in there so that they could get cold stratified and then they took them out and so I really want to try that with I think that'd be so cool um, so I'm going to do some snapdragons and some sweet alyssum and this is called love in a mist you can see that and then i'm going to plant a brassica i'm like okay i'm going to plant broccoli in one of these columns as well and so i want to know how a veggie is going to do so i want to add this in the mix i put a piece of frog tape painters tape on this tray right here so that I can get the length right and I'm going to write on here each of these so that I can put it right on the front of the tray I'm just going to top these with some vermiculite Okay, you guys, last but not least, I want to show you what I've been in here doing with the winter sewing method. Definitely let me know if you've done anything like it. I've been spending many evenings into the night out here just sowing seeds, preparing for spring, which I'm so excited about. I'm trying to be on top of it because I just want to see our garden flourish. And so I tried this winter sewing method using these zip bags. And so I just mixed together some peat moss along with some perlite and it's called back to roots soil it's potting mix but it was very woody and so i just i just cut it in with some peat moss and some perlite and just tried to make it as light and fluffy as i could and then i put them in the bags and planted the seeds in them and i am so like i have so much anticipation I hope this works. Like, if this works, it would be a game changer for starting seeds early because I really want to be on top of it, like I said. So, this is what I've done. I really want to give you a snapshot of the greenhouse at night just to take a look at the beautiful garden we not only get to enjoy it in the day but we also get to enjoy it at night and watch it be lit up with these different lights and it's just been such a beautiful time out here i even went to the extent to winter sow these um, biodegradable bags that i got recently because the soil that i used I just felt like it was so dry. My mix was just not good. I had way too much peat moss in there and not enough perlite, not enough vermiculite. And I was like <laughs> desperate because I, I really didn't want to go through all the work of planting all of these seeds and they not germinate. And so I stuck them in these bags and oh my goodness, I am so happy because... I see green in there, y'all. They are sprouting in these bags and I'm so excited about it. So right now I have a ton <laughs> of things growing in this greenhouse. At least seeds are sown in this greenhouse. And I'm just, I'm just really looking forward to being able, like I said, to produce 90% of what we put. And, I, and I'm leaving the other 10% because I do like to support other local farmers who have incredible starts or maybe they've grown something that I didn't grow or we go to a plant sale and somebody awesome is there and they've 
already like they have some really cool things that I want to buy. And so I, I'm leaving <laughs> a small percentage, but I would really love to grow the majority of what we are going to plant. Now that's the hope. I think this method is going to help tremendously with that. If all goes well, we are going to have a ton of flowers um, that we grew from seed. And not to mention all of the flowers that's going to grow back from all of the seeds that fell last year. That is just tremendously exciting. I'm really, really excited about that. Thank you guys so much for joining me in the greenhouse today. I just love that we get to experience all of these things together and that you guys are on this journey right along with me as I am learning how to do all the things and trying to figure it all out as we are going. I hope that this would encourage you that you do not have to be an expert to begin. You do not have to be an expert on any of it to just start. Get a seed, get some soil, plant it, water it, and watch it grow. I am so excited about this upcoming spring. If you are watching this video, please let me know down below what zone you are in, where are you chiming in from, and when do you get to start planting? I know for us, it is so close. I feel like it's so close. It's only like two months away, which is like mind blowing to think we are that close to spring like it's so exciting have you tried any of these three methods what is your favorite way to start seeds please let me know down below i would love to hear about it so i am popping these snapdragons right into this little tray and i'm going to put them in the freezer and once they are frozen i'm going to pop them into a little baggie and then let them be in the freezer until it's time to plant them. I also sewed these brassicas and they have already sprouted. Oh my goodness. That is such a wonderful thing. These sprouted very quickly. So quick. Wow. Hey little babies. I probably need to get this plastic off. Interesting that the broccoli rob <laughs> sprouted faster than the purple broccoli as well as the Romanesco down there. I just kind of put it in sections. And we have look like about maybe one trying to sprout over there, but like all of these have sprouted. That's incredible. Here underneath this one, this is where I planted out our seeds from our amara plant that was glorious outside. I just put a bunch of seeds down here and covered it with potting soil and it's sprouting. So I'm gonna take off this plastic so that it doesn't get all moldy in there. Look at that. That's so exciting. It's so exciting. If you guys are interested in these products from Epic Gardener, definitely look in the description box below because I have a link down there and you can get 5% off whatever you order, whether it's seeds or these containers or trays or whatever you find on there, um, you can get 5% off. And so I hope that you enjoy that coupon. And so that is all that we have for you today. Again, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I will chat with you guys down in those comments and see you guys next time.